So we are continuing the series that we started about uh, micro frontends using Webpack 5 module federation and we are using create uh, module federation app create dash mf dash app uh, which will make explaining deep things and advanced uh, advanced uh, terms and technologies faster and easier. We will be going through the article in LinkedIn that I will put the link to it be below the video uh, and it has the explanation of how to create this button thing and a link to this video as well. So uh, here are the steps uh, we've already created the host right now we'll create MFE1 the micro frontend one and we will add a button inside it and expose it so that uh, the host can remote to it. So let's uh, create MPX create dash MF dash app create module federation app here we'll change the default name we'll have it MFE1 instead of host and also we'll change the port it would be port 8081 uh, the rest will be the defaults react or script CSS let's go inside MFE1 folder and do npm install or yarn install to be able to install all the dependencies after it finished the installing the dependencies we'll open uh, Visual Studio Code uh, to look what has been added for us and start adding uh, the button component into it so now it's done let's open Visual Studio Code code space dot to open Visual Studio Code uh, let's fix the screen position and uh, let's see what has been built um, webpack.config.js this is the boilerplate that was created for us um, and this is where we will expose the button after we create it but let's create the button first okay right now let's continue and add the button so according to the article you need to create a file called source slash button.js and it's under the source directly and I'll copy and paste and that's the normal button thing that uh, I'm pretty sure that if you've done react before you've done it hundreds of times uh, it's a function component and we add a button into it that has the word MFE1 button uh, we will after that in app.jsx we will import it and print it this is not actually related to module federation but this is for our own testing to test our button on the local site and this is we normally do that so we say import and we import button from the uh, slash button dot slash uh, button and we will add it at the beginning this is different than the article but that's fine the the uh, the button will show at the beginning of uh, the site um, and this is as I said this is only for testing uh, most of the sites uh, button most of the sites um, that I've seen we try every team will try to test their own uh, micro front end locally uh, first to make sure that it's working fine before uh, the other teams they uh, import it after we do that we will need to expose it into webpack dot config dot gs so that the host component will be able to remote to it all what you need to do is add it inside the exposes in webpack dot config dot gs there's um, you'll find exposes and it has empty curly brackets you just put those uh, dot slash button the most important thing is the word button this will be used in the future to import it in the host and all what you need to do the other parameter is the place for it which is dot slash source dot button and all what we're saying here actually we're telling uh, webpack that to to add this button component into remote entry.js which we will do it locally right now in localhost 8081 and uh, the host component will get it from there but in the future we will deploy it actually to S3 bucket and it will get it from uh, the S3 bucket now let's just start the service as we said yarn run start and here it is you can see the button but as I said this is only to test it uh, just make it, it it's not related to module federation we will add the module federation uh, right now 
Now let's add the uh, remote a remote to the button that we just created in MFE one inside host. So now we're inside webpack.config.json host, and this is the remotes. This is where you add all the remotes that you want to include. You can add whatever number of remotes you want to add. So let's copy the entire thing, which includes the name of the remote, which is the name of the service, and the place to get this remote, which is the remote entry.js. So if you looked here, we added MFE one. Uh, and the place is localhost 8081 slash remote entry.js. The most important thing is that MFE1 here should match the same in webpack config.js the name that we had here. Look at this. This is an MFE1. It was the name that says MFE1. Uh, so to know that this is a service that we will look for, it will look for. And uh, the place, of course, the place right now is 8081, and I said in the future it will be uh, S3 bucket. So right now it's uh, localhost column 8081 slash remote entry.js. And actually, Webpack did all the magic and to put the remote in through this static file, and it will do the magic again to take it as a normal component. You will feel that this is uh, a local component that you will import it and deal with it as we will see. And before we add the host, I want to show the remote entry. So if you click on this, which is the place that it will uh, expose to you, this is the remote entry. This is the file created by Webpack. And it has, of course, the name of it. You'll find it under var mfe1. And we explained this file uh, before in another article and video. Um, now uh, let's continue and add it into the hosts. So we'll move again to the host under source. You look on in app.gsx. Uh, and let's add this lazy import. The reason we have this lazy import instead of the eager import is that it will wait because this is a sync mode. It's like you don't know when it will load it. So it will wait a little bit, give the time to be loaded. And MFE1 here is the one in the webpack.config that we have in MFE1. And the name of the button is the one that's in uh, MFE1 here, the first one, which is this dot slash button. It is the uh, one that we put in the import here. So this is what we import, MFE1 slash button, and I said lazy import. Now we need to also add it inside the functional component of the app. So it will show on the top as well. So let's add it, um, let's add it, yeah, above the name. Uh, we just need to save, but you need to uh, restart the service, of course, if it was running. Uh, but here I stopped it already. So if it, it was running, uh, then we will add it. And this is the one, the const that we had above there, mf, uh, mf, uh, mfe1 underscore button. This is the one we added uh, below. So let's start a terminal from the host. Uh, if it was running again, do control C, but if it was not, uh, do uh, yarn start. I usually name it with the same, with the name host and the other mfe1. So it would be easy for me to uh, try to remember. So yarn run start, and this will start the 8080 port, which here we go. You have the MFE button on the top. So right now it's not doing anything. And in the future article, actually, I will show how can you pass uh, props, retrieve data, print out, and do some actions back and forth between the host and uh, the micro front end. If you like this video, please uh, press like. Uh, subscribe to receive the latest videos that I will put. I'll be heavily invested into uh, teaching the micro front ends, especially with module federation and how to architect and design. And I will explain some of the uh, uh, projects I've done at work as well. Also enable the notification so you be notified whenever any new video that comes and you will not miss uh, the latest video I will be posting and it will be always uh, using the top of the technologies and this is a very green field, still new. There's something new every day. Thanks for watching.